So today I'll be showing you guys how to do the cat, the green cat marshalless uh, side quest. Um, you can unlock a few things, um, a spell and a drink that I love. So I guess we can get to it. You're going to need one thing to uh, do this quest though. You need the rank of fire spell. So if you don't have that, get that spell and then come back to this video. So we're going to start at the Bitter Lake, north of the Bitter Lake Shrine. Then we're gonna keep right, go straight to where you see how Shen Long can follow him. But you wanna go straight back until you see a bunch of bat creatures. Well, you'll hear a dialogue, but just keep going, you'll hear a dialogue, and then you'll see a bunch of bat creatures attacking a traveler. You want to defeat the bat creatures, and after that, talk to the traveler. Uh, wait, you won't eat me, will you? Oh, I was, uh, I was on a treasure hunt, but I ended up being the hunted. Okay, here you want to make sure that you click, click, and click and talk, and make sure you exhaust his dialogue. Otherwise, it will not, it will not go to the next location that you will need to go to to proceed with this quest. Um, after you're done talking to him, do not leave that. If you go to the left, there's a treasure chest with um, cold iron out. leaves. Behind that is going to be the blueberry road mask, which is the drink I was talking about earlier. Okay, why I like this drink is because obviously if you haven't upgraded your um, Lambrew or your Soaks or anything like that or your drinks into this point, then this odd is going to be a lot higher. This is 30%, I mean 36% uh, your health. And then on top of that, it gives you a moderate increase to your movement speed, which is great because you don't have to use your dodges in certain situations. You can just sidestep them because you're just moving fast enough to sidestep them. But yeah, let's continue with the video. This is a good soak. If you like it, then use it. If you don't, then don't. So the actual sh next shrine we want to get to is um, the Towers of Karma. But I'm going to start at Forest of Philosophy so I can show you guys how to get there. Because I know some of you guys might not know how to get there. Um, you should have Forest of Philosophy is right after Mindfulness Cliff. That's like a... It's shrine that you automatically get just playing through the story, but you do have to be by my boss to get to this shrine. So just follow my steps and you'll get there. Go ahead and defeat the enemies here. Um, then after that, just make sure you have Ring of Fire, click the spell. If you don't already have the equip, equip that. And then you should hear dialogue at this point. If you look behind you, um, go straight, then you'll see the traveler there. Use Ring of Fire to warm him up, and then he'll give you another set of dialogue to listen to. From here, we're going to want to go to uh, from beneath, on the, the Melon Field, which will be his next location, and that will be the boss encounter. Um, we will stop at one shrine on the way, uh, just because it's on the way and you might not have it. But if you do, I will have time steps. You can just go to the time steps in the description, which is this next shrine is going to be uh, the Brook of Bliss. So follow me to get there, and then we'll pick up where we left off after that.
I accidentally fail here. Um, if you want to, you can just fall to, but if you don't, you can just keep going straight before I get on, on top of the branch and go down. It'll take you the same direction. You just uh, follow my path. Um, it is a spirit down here that you, get, you can get. It's called the Crow Divider. Uh, Crow Diviner. I've never used it, so I really wouldn't be able to tell you how good it is. But they are fucking annoying, so I, I'm assuming that they're pretty good at the spirit. So I would advise you to pick it up. If you take a look around, you'll see an altar. Just go towards it and it'll initiate a boss fight. Um, Green Cap Marshalis, he's not really that hard. It's very gimmicky. Just keep your distance. Make sure you do a good, uh, good amount of damage and you'll be good. But after uh, you're done with this, you'll get the spell called Spellbinder. It pretty much, after you activate this spell, it'll boost all your attack, but the downside is that it silences like everything else that you have. So you can't use summons, you can't use your other spells, and you can't use like your fireproof mantle and stuff like that. So I'm pretty addicted to the spell. It's a good spell. It boosts your attack power by a lot. If you don't feel like you need it, then, I mean, if you don't feel like you need your other spells, then I will go with this. Or if you're fighting like a boss who's like negating all the spells that you have, definitely use this spell because it will help. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, and share the videos. Thank you.